Generic greetings and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies once again. So previously we did a bit of multiplayer fighting which was something of a bit of a surprise but that put back one of the builds that I wanted to do and will be doing right now and that is making a ground based vessel boat have it float. Now you think is that an airship? No well that's not strictly true because airships can actually go up high and all of that and fly around whereas this one is technically still a ground vehicle but it's got a hover module so if you go over to the propulsion tab you can see that there is something called a system suspendium sled and that essentially allows you to hover a little bit above the ground we're going to use a couple of large of these because want to make a couple of large ones of these because want to make um a fairly big vessel and well that, that's the end of that chat really so uh, let's just crack on today's beverages it's uh, a peached iced tea. It's very, very nice indeed. So let's go down to the basic tab and we'll have a corridor that will just shoot up like so, just, just to connect it up. And as you can see, we've got the suspendium sled. So I want to have this, I want to have a big gun on the front. In fact, I want to put the biggest gun I can on the thing. Now, obviously, you would think that artillery is the biggest gun and things like that, but I don't think that's strictly true. Let's have a quick look around. We've got a death ray. We've got dorsal HA torpedoes. Now, when I say the biggest gun, I'm not talking talking about uh, the what the hell is that a heat ray that sounds cool i think we'll have one of those at some point in fact let's just put it there so we remember uh, i think it's based off where the sun is apparently uh, let's have a quick read of it it says silver mirrors lenses focused heavily uh, handy lightweight swivel gives you a tan <laughs> or a cooked egg in less than five minutes okay so it's um no, oh, it shoots troops and planes within 110 meters. Right, okay, so it's a bit of a heat ray type thing. We'll have one of those. Anyway, when I say it's um, it's a big gun, is that a... What's that? A continental ballistic missile? That's just insane. Um, when I say the biggest gun, I mean, like, physically, what is the biggest one I can I can fit on? Um, I think I've already found the, 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 the missile. Is this a one-shot weapon? A great terrifying rocket carrying very potent payload, capable of bringing down all but the most determined bulwarks of defense. Super weapon. Piercing damage, 9,999. Blast damage, 9,999. Direct damage, 9,999. So basically, if you have one of those, you've won the game, or whatever you hit will certainly not be around for long. Um, let's go over to... Oh, don't want to float on island pieces. Peabody's weapons. So we've got battleship gun. It's a fairly big cannon. We've got a turret. Eh, small. We've got a little sort of under turret. We've got another Mark II. See, these are not terribly big, um, although that triple gun turret's fairly decent as well. And we've also got torpedo launchers, which I don't like the look of them, to be quite honest. Hmm, what is the way to go when it comes to this thing? Um, a triple gun turret's quite nice. We could stack them up like that. That, that would be very, very good. But I think when it comes to big guns, uh, drop that down. We've already checked weapons in here. These are the stock weapons in the game, so they're not entire, They're not very, very big. We've got different modules here. Armored deck gun. We've got an excavator, which we have seen previously. I've done a video on that previously, and yes, it is just one of those things for digging out coal or whatever. Um, a heavily armed top gun. Yeah, it is a very, very, very heavy armed. Um, a big cannon. We've got a lightning gun. We've got a super heavy cannon. We've got a... We've seen that one there. Super death laser type thing. I think the biggest gun... The biggest one you can actually fit is the Super Heavy Cannon. It certainly looks to be the longest, so let's do that. We'll go with Super Heavy Cannon, and we'll have one, uh, two, three. Why not? What's, what's the weight limit on this thing? It doesn't tell me, but that might be... Uh, might be about right. Okay, so we'll have that. Um, also, because we can, what we're going to do is drop that down. Um, is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else there. Let's go over to... Oh, there's also commerce, which I don't think we need. You can put a dust collector on if you really want to collect some dust and get cash. Um, these are... all oh, these are automated ones, the automatous ones. Don't want those. We want that big missile. So let's find the missile. It is there. And we'll put it... Well, there, because we can. And then we'll get rid of those, and then we'll drop it down, and there we go. So we've got the random heat ray thing. So... It is just going to be a big brick, this, by the way. You know what, I think I'm going to drop it down, because it's just a bit too tall. We don't need two of those big guns. It's mainly about... Damn it, I've got rid of the heat ray. Uh, there we go, and put it on the top. It's mainly about just uh, having this sled, because, um, you know, I like the idea of it. So, there's that sorted. 
we need somewhere to crew it, somewhere to power it, and all of the ammo. So let's go over to probably the uh, resources tab. We'll have a... We could have a big ammo store for each of these guns, and that probably is the way forward, but we'll put them um, put them next to each other. Probably not the best idea ever. So we'll probably put them like that, and then we will surround them with, I think, some structural supports. Uh, we could actually have an... Like an escalator, uh, a is it an escalator? No, it's an elevator. There is an escalator in the game. It, it, you go left and right very quickly. I think we'll have just a... Don't need a vault door. Don't need portcullis. Fire door, that's what we need. So we'll surround this thing, like so. Obviously, we're going to delete the ones at the front there, because we don't want to... Uh, we don't want this, these, these ammo to blow everything up. Now, these, they take... How much does it take? Um, a fire hack, one degree, yes. We know it was going, we know it was going to be quite limited. Um, it doesn't say how much it takes, but I'm assuming it takes more than just one generic unit of ammo. That would just be a bit silly. But anyway, there's that put in for now. We also need to go back over to the resources tab and put in some, uh, well, I think f fire hydrants? So what's this fire hydrant? Not just water, more water, the most water. What's not to like? So it's it's just the most water. It, it's all about the water, apparently. So we'll have a fire hydrant in there, which apparently just covers around the back there as well. There's a large cargo door, which I don't think we need. Got refined all store, which is uh, apparently you can use it for. You can use it in here, which I'm going to put. Do I want a couple of them around here? Um, probably like that. Yes, and then what we'll do is we'll just surround it with um, more fire doors, which the the back end can set on fire, which is not something you want to hear. But yeah, it's it's hopefully it'll be okay. Right, so we've got it. That means the fire won't spread upwards because of these fire doors, but it can spread down to this suspendium bit at the back. But, uh, yeah, whatever. It's just to try things out. We'll go over to the command and crew, and you've got analytical battle engine, you've got charging stations, you've got large bridge, large quarters. It says main crew. Uh, 18 recommended 29. The large quarters gives us a total of. 40 air sailors, so that is about right. There we go. That should be fine, considering we're also going to have a... Do we want a targeting computer? Um, I'm not sure. We do need a bridge. So we'll put the bridge in. We need... Hospital. Do we need a hospital? Don't think we need a hospital. We'll need a sick bear, which will go... Th Ooh, no, no, we'll put the sick bear... We'll put the bridge up there. We'll put the sick bear below it. He says not being able to find it again. There we go. And then we will have the... Is that a tank mark? What, tank mark 2? It's like a turret goes on the top. It is. Interesting. Torpedo rack. There's all sorts of stuff. Loads of gear. Um, We want... Do we want some defense stuff? Air Dragoon Barracks? Oh, these are the guys that they can fly off. That's right, they, they, they get out and start flying around. Um, I want... Well, for a start, I need somewhere to repair this thing. We also need a cargo door. Uh, where will the repair stuff be? See, I thought it was... I thought it was in Command and Crew, but apparently not. Repair bay. It's probably not called repair bay though, is it? It's probably called like oh, it's a machine shop. There it is, machine. That's why I couldn't find it. It's a machine shop. Okay, so we'll put the machine shop in. Mm, ideally, I'd want it there. So I'm going to get rid of that, move it back, get rid of these, and move them back just temporarily, like so. Put that in there. We'll put the what's that? That bridge will go there. Then we'll have all of the other stuff like stacked up like so. Um, we can have the corridor go around. We need some more supply hatches, and that's about it, though. So just a couple more supply hatches, so we'll just get rid of that, and... Oh, well, might as well type in supply hatches. But supply hatch begins with an S, not a D, so... Supply hatch. That's a different model by the look of it, whatever. So I'll go one, two, three, four, because why not, and... That's technically all we need. 38 air sailors recommended, um, and we got 40, so that's fine. In terms of coal, we got uh, 256, 160 ammo. I don't think that's enough. And that should 
be about right. It is just a brick. It is, you know, solely that. I mean, I'm not going to try and sugarcoat it in any way. But what we'll do is to uh, make it a bit better. We'll go for probably... Actually, let's go for armour. And we want this as armoured as we can. So, laid armour is probably the way to go. We will fill that with laid armour. Yep, that's looking about right. Um, heavy steel armour is technically... Yeah, that is actually better. Um, but it's also almost triple the weight. So, we'll go with laid. I think... Yeah, that'll probably go for it. Uh, well, alright, modules then, and we'll go for solid iron slopes, and... Oh, do we want a solid iron? No, we want, um, girder slopes, because what I want to do is have a downward hill bit. I want to have it go up like so. Oh, I was going to put a spoiler on it, but I can't because of this thing. Um, although we could probably put a spoiler on it if we put that there, and um, probably do that. And then, obviously, we do need to connectorate this up somehow, so we'll have an uphill slope, which will go there and then there, and then we'll fill that with just square box girder, which, yep, strut, that is in there, and we'll connect all this with box girder. And then, finally, we'll have, like, a... Um, I don't know, do we have a slope on the back? Like that? Is that what I was aiming for? Uh, no, no, that that's fairly, fairly terrible. Um, I guess it would be like that, and it would be that, wouldn't it? I believe so, and we could probably go for that. Nope. That's terrible, and everywhere it's not. But that's eh, sort of what we'd go for. I, because of this, I can't put it where I wanted it. I wanted to have a little bit there, but eh, that'll... <laughs> that's the spoiler. And you know what? We could even put a big bar exhaust on the back, just because we're that type of person. You know? So it's, it's just, when it's 3 a.m., uh, it blasts down the road and really, really annoys you. Um, We'll go for that. There you go. Um... And I think that'll do her. I think so. Overlays. Hit points quite high. No, quite low there. Um, in terms of water, decent water propagation apart from here. Uh, ammunition, good. Um, uh, explosion damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She'll, she'll go up. <laughs> It'll definitely go up. Although... Oh, look at that. See that? If that, if that refined oil star goes up, 5,000 damage. Yeah, energy density and all of that. Okay, fine. So we will go to the decoration and we will put a large steel nameplate um, probably about here. And then we will not bother putting any roundels on it because I don't really want one. We could put a couple of mouths on it, but no, we, we, we're used to doing that. So, oh, you know what? Since it is a bit of a flash thing, we could put like a, a couple of go faster stripes on it like that. Oh, you can't click and drag, which is a shame. So we'll do that. And then we'll stripe going down the middle, you see. <laughs> nice. Shame that thing sticks out, but whatever. Yeah! Go faster stripes! It's really hideous. Okay, so we'll rename it. So it's going to be the GLV. Um, it's the Hoverington. And we'll save it. I almost typed Hooverington and it didn't actually save. GLV. I could put the Hooverington because it's probably going to do just that. It's going to hoover up damage and die. Okay, server design. Leave that. Let's have a combat. So we'll have on a... We'll have on a... Storm. Storm always looks good. We will add a land ship. And it is... 8,000 cost. 8,000. Okay. So I'm going to move it to... I wanted to move it to a relatively flat piece of terrain, but there isn't one. That'll have to do. We'll see what happens when it crushes this, or if it does even indeed crush that. Uh, in terms of the opponent, we'll say add building, and we'll add... Well, we could add a red wall, actually. We'll put a red wall in here. We'll flip that about, and we'll put a red wall like so. And we'll have to add a couple of you know what this is just to test out its destructive capability so let's just click start and we'll see what happens so immediately um you can see it uh, fired the big guns there 
There you go, there's the big guns firing, which is fairly cool. Oh, there's a missile going out, and, um... Well, yeah, it, um, it, it put a hole in it. It didn't actually blow up anything, uh, major. Yeah, there's the, there's the cannon. Cannon works. Uh, let's move this to there, and it does move! You can see the suspendium things go up and down. Yeah, it does work. Um, I wonder if the missile fires more than once. It does! See that? That's the loading progress. So it can actually fire more than once. That big cannon is really cool. I do like that. Oh, looks like we've chopped the front of the red Wallington off. You can also see loads of little lines. See that? That's the heat ray. That's the heat ray of the thing. Um, we'll see it bring it down. Oh, there's the missile. Um, incoming. Yeah, it does a lot of damage. It completely destroys whatever it hits. But the problem is that it... Uh, it, it doesn't hit vital parts. Like, you can't target the vital parts. Look at that. That's the uh, heat ray. That's a big cannon. Come on, I want to see it fire the uh, the missile again. I'm actually going to say ram. Ram to there. Ram to there. See how close we can get. It's very, very slow indeed. There's the missile. Incoming! That actually split up. I'm sure it did. Okay, so it happily will crunch through trees. Yep. It's going. It crunches through the trees, no problem whatsoever. So, it doesn't have... I was going to say a lot of speed, but it hardly has any speed whatsoever. But what it has got is torque. It, it's not even slowing down for the stuff it's hitting. Watch the trail. Gone. Destroyed. Doesn't even slow down. So, there's a the missile. Yep, that took a big section out, and... Oh, oh! Glory belongs to us, apparently. I think I've taken all the weapons out of it. Yes, I have. Alright, okay. So, let's go to combat once more. And do the knife, uh, we'll do a knife fight. So, we're going to go for landship. We're going to put in the... Hoverington once more. We'll put it about... Putting it further back is probably the, the way to go. Uh, in terms of airships, I... Well, anything I put on, it will defeat me, I think, because it can just fly over the top of me. So we'll put a Subington on there. Airship. Um, you know what we could have? We will put in... No, that, that's the that's the other thing we maybe fall with the Super Heavy Cannon. See, that is only 1,800. So you can have probably five of those. Yeah, because mine's 8,800, I think, and this thing's 1,800. You could have probably five of those before you're uh, for one of the other ones. So I know which money I'm putting my money on. Let's have a Zappington, because why not? Um, is mine 8,000? Yeah, so you can have loads. So... Oh, airship. And we want to have the Doom Wagon. So where is it? Bombarding to no... Doom Shippington, there it is. And they are up to 10,000. Oh, so I'll have to get rid of that. 7,000, okay. Uh, land ship then. Perhaps a... Uh, can't really have another Hoverington. Carrier, no. Land Flankington, no. Useless. Mini tank... When, when in doubt, mini tankingtons to make up the numbers. In fact, <laughs> almost dead on. 8,827 versus 8,878. Not too bad at all. Not tea bag, as Ave would say. So, I think we will go. So, there's the missiles going out. I didn't order the com I didn't order that, that fire, but uh, oh yeah. It um, took the back end off, that's for sure. So, we will target that thing at the back. And it looks like they are firing at me. It is... That's the artillery coming in. Oh, it's already blown the missile off and one of the guns. And the front's fallen off and I'm dead. Okay, may have some flaws there. Um, okay, go back to combat. We'll go to night again. Add land ship. And... Put in Hoverington once more. Put it in there. Actually, it's probably best to move it... No, that'll be fine. Uh, we'll add an airship and we'll have... Probably... KV Tewingtons, perhaps? No... I think actually the probably the doom ship again. The 
The fact is you can have almost two Doom Ships for one of those. And even though the Doom Ship is extremely weak, it's got no armor whatsoever. It's also extremely maneuverable, but it makes no, di no odds in this game, really. Um, not for what it needs to do. It's it's It, it just sits there and you know, calls in artillery and fires the big cannon on the top. But this is the perfect counter to this, because this can only fire essentially three guns once every... Well, two guns fire once every 20 seconds or something, and the missiles pretty much once every minute, I think. And unless you hit something vital, they're just going to keep bombarding you with artillery, and that's what will take this thing out. Whereas this thing, this thing is good for static buildings, uh, shot things that would... Uh, maybe fire a lot of shots back but not necessarily very very powerful um so yeah that's what that's for let's go for airship and what we'll do because we can is we are going to put in some reacting tons um mech suits i think and we'll put one in here and that brings us i'm a little bit overpointed but not too much we'll start the fight immediately we'll pause it this thing i will say move over to there this i will say target the one at the back because i don't want to uh I don't want to, uh, good grief, this thing's already damaged heavily, and, oh look, it's moving, it's moving, let me pause it, let me just, uh, board that one there, um, why is this thing not fired yet? The missile hasn't fired, and now it's been taken out and dead. Well, that's just dandy, isn't it? That's exactly what I wanted, um... Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Leave that. Okay, we, we might we might have lost that somewhat to some extent. Uh, night fight again. We'll add land ship. We want the hovering ton. Put it further back, actually, because that's the problem. When it was further forward, because it's only one degree arc of fire, couldn't get the thing in arc, even though it's got a very low service ceiling. So we'll go for a airship, and it'll be another couple of the... Doom ships uh, one and two. We will put in an airship once more on my side, which will be a reactant in Mexico. We'll put it there, and then we will start the fight. So immediately, I will I will just let it crack on. I'll say you target that one there, unpause it, and you can see there's the first shot coming in. Um, it did actually miss. Second shot hit something, but I don't know what it hit. Um, there's the artillery coming in again. Oh, we did get the ICBM off, which promptly. Managed to... Okay, the front of that came off. Yeah, the um, ICBM managed to... Uh, managed to simply take out the artillery piece, or one of the artillery pieces, and then the main doom thing. And then um, I tried to board it and didn't manage to do that. Uh, it, it didn't work at all. And then this thing fired its main gun and then split this thing in half. Okay, so apparently when I use the Doom ships, I just lose. But when the computer uses them, then it, it immediately destroys everything. Actually, no. The problem is that the Doom ship is very, very good for one target. So in this case, we've got an 8,000 plus change point vessel. Uh, theirs is only half the cost. So it can quickly just go straight through the armor. Uh, there's a lot of vital things in there. Obviously, the gun is very large. So if you hit that, it's going to second, it's going to blow up. And then you'll get secondary fires and explosions and yeah it just just blows up the ideal counter to both of those vessels the one i've just made the hoverington and also the doom shippington is just a lot of small ships so reacting tons actually probably the zeppelins are probably a way to go um just things like the mini fighting tons the mini chop saws like you can see in the background there um and mini tanks mini tanks probably the prime prime for uh want to to take them out because i've got a very very big arc of fire either way that's been a little bit more of airships conquer the skies we're probably going to leave it there for a little while by all means if you have any suggestions for builds let me know in the comments but we'll probably give it uh, another patch or two before we look at it and uh well we'll see how it goes as always hope you have enjoyed the video thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings